All right, so I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not a very artistic person. I never have been. It's never been a strong suit for me. The peak of my artistic career is probably in fifth grade when we drew those Superman logos with the three lines. Yeah, that's as good as it gets for me. But last weekend, in the span of about two hours, I was able to create this bad boy from scratch. Now, I know this is no Da Vinci, but for me, this is my new magnum opus. It does not get any better than this for me. And so did I have some sort of artistic reawakening over the last few months that allowed me to do this? Absolutely not. But I have found five crucial online design tools that have helped me refine my artistic process and led me to become at least a respectable artist capable of putting something together like this in less than two hours. So in this video, I wanna show you those five tools and walk you through from a high level how I was able to create this masterpiece last weekend. Let's do it. All right, so the first online tool that has completely redefined me as an artist in this modern era is something called Midjourney. Now, if you've been following my channel over the last few months, you know I love Midjourney. It's kind of the foundation. It's kind of my starting point in my new online design process. If you've never heard of Midjourney, it's essentially just an AI tool that lets you create different art based on different text prompts that you feed into the system. I'm not gonna go into much detail here today because I've done that in previous videos, but I'll have those linked up above if you're curious and you want to start on your Midjourney journey. So I knew last weekend that I really wanted a cute cartoonish looking CEO that's going on his lunch break. That's what I wanted. I didn't know exactly how it looked, but that's kind of the vision I had. So what I did was I just hopped into Midjourney and I just started playing around with a prompt and I used some of my basic Midjourney prompt engineering techniques from my last video, which I'll have linked up above. And I just typed in a happy cartoon deli sandwich, wearing a suit and tie, carrying a briefcase, magnificent lunchtime CEO. And that's it. And out popped these bad boys, which they're not awful, but they're not exactly what I was looking for. So essentially, I just continued iterating my prompt over and over for about 20 minutes until I ended up with these four right here. And something caught my eye. This guy right here really caught my eye. It looked fun. It looked on brand for what I was envisioning in my head. So what I did was I just created four variations of this guy right here and out popped these four right here. And I really, really liked all of these. And so I upscaled all four of them and then picked my favorite, which turned out to be this guy right here, all right? All right, so once you have your foundational art piece out of Midjourney, then we can go to online tool number two, which is called AI Image Enlarger or imglarger.com. Essentially, this is just an AI tool that will make your Midjourney photos more crisp and higher resolution so it looks better in your final design. So this image right here is pulled straight out of Midjourney and it looks pretty good. But if you zoom in here on these lines, you can see it just gets a little pixely, a little blurry, and it's not as crisp as it could be. So if we throw this image into imglarger.com and let the AI cook, then we get an image that looks something like this, which at first glance looks similar. But if you zoom in and you check out these lines, they are clean, they are crisp, and they're not blurry. So I always use this beautiful website right here, ai.imageenlarger, to crispen up and make my images out of Midjourney higher resolution. Okay, so now that we've crispened up our image, let's move on to online design tool number three that has completely helped me become an aspiring professional artist. And this tool is called the Online Green Screen Remover Tool. I have this link down in the description below. But essentially what this tool lets you do is remove any background from any image you ever want. So in this example, I wanted to get rid of this blue background here and just have this guy with these white little shards shooting off as my final image, all right? And then I could choose the background color that I wanted in the next step. All right, so to use this tool, it's very, very simple. All you wanna do is click on the color that you wanna remove from the background. So in this case, just this white blue back here. So I'll just click out there. I'll hit set transparency key, provide a tolerance. I'll keep it at 16. I'll hit okay, I'll hit okay. And boom, the background is removed, but you can see I still have my white shards intact. All right, so now I have a beautifully crisp and clear image straight out of Midjourney with the background removed. And now this beautiful asset I can use to anchor the design in the next step. Okay, so online design tool number four that has completely transformed me into the modern day Da Vinci is called Canva. Now Canva is awesome. I use it all the time. It is my go-to artistic design platform. I wouldn't use any other tool out there. It's so fun. It's so clean. It's so easy to use, especially as a beginner. If you don't know how to use Photoshop or things like that, Canva is where you should start. It's awesome. Okay, so for example, I can just come and find the asset that we just downloaded from our green screen remover tool, and I can just plop him right here into the middle of my Canva design. I can move him around just like this, and I can just put him right in the middle, and I can add in a heading text right here, all right, and I can drag this up to the top, and I can choose from basically a million different fonts, and I can just go CEO lunch break, 
and then I can bump this up bigger, something like this, maybe up to 120. And then I can give this text some little effect, some background shadow, and I can give it different colors right here. So maybe a darker blue and I can bump the transparency up so it's nice and maybe the offset slightly more just like that. And then I can move it around, make sure it's centered right there. And I can just kind of tweak it as I go. So Canva is a very, very versatile tool. It has all these different elements you can drop in. So basically anything you wanna do design-wise, you can do inside of Canva. I've had no limitations using it and it's very easy to use and quick to learn. So I would recommend it. Now at this point in the design process, now that I'm inside of Canva and I'm tweaking things and trying to refine everything, I go find an inspiration piece, something from an actual artist with actual design skills, unlike me. So I'll go online and I'll find basically something that I want to chase. So in this case, I found this really cool podcast art for this podcast called Chompers. I just liked it. I thought it was cool. I thought it was fun. You can see it's got these blue waves. It's got this cool font. And I want to use this as my inspiration for my own design. So at this point, I'll pull out my fifth online design tool that I use basically every day. And it's a tool called Color Slurp. Essentially, it's just a Color Slurp download that you can do on, this one's for Mac, but there's a million different ones out there. And what you can do is, you can just pop this bad boy open, get the eyedropper out, and you can pick different colors on the page in front of you, and you can get the exact hex code you need. Now, I bring this up because I love the colors of this inspiration piece so much that I wanna use them for my background in my own design. So I'll pop open Color Slurp here. I'll go to my dropper. I just wanna use this color right here as the background of my own design. So I'll copy the hex code, I'll come back into Canva, and I'll just grab my background here, and I'll copy that bad boy right in. All right, so now we have a nice uniform background here. I'm using the colors for my inspiration piece like this. So now when I drop my guy in, boom, this thing's looking really, really clean. And with just a few little tweaks here, we're in really, really good shape. And there we go. So now I hope you guys can see that even if you're not artistic at all and have no design prowess in your blood, you can at least come up with something respectable like we have just done right here by harnessing the power of all these online design tools, AI and otherwise, and creating something beautiful for the projects that you're working on. So if you guys like this video, go down and smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing, that'd be awesome. If you have any questions for me, get down in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. It's been awesome to have you all along for the ride, and I can't wait to see where we go in the future. I'll see you guys in next week's video. Peace.